Good one, guys. So, I really wanted to get my drone out, but it's so windy. As you can tell by those trees flapping around and the people out there windsurfing. But I didn't bring it all this way not to put it up, so I'm going to still put it up and just be careful. Coppily goodness. If you blur your eyes enough, kind of looks like a fern. Not too bad. I think I might go for breakfast soon and get someone else to make me a coffee though. It's not bad. Not the best coffee I've ever had. So with this weather. Did you get this amazing selection of fruit? The hotel left me. There's even a pawpaw in there. Apparently these bananas are from the island and they look pretty epic. I have this thing that no matter where I travel anywhere, as soon as I get anywhere, my stuff just explodes everywhere. Just have like explosions of stuff. Right, breakfast time. I'm not being lazy today, I am walking to find somewhere to eat. Not driving, because last time I drove down this driveway and went there for lunch. Poor form. Can I just grab the um, delicious big breakfast? Cause I know that this feeling won't last forever Bring it all to my head and echo Much better than mine How good does this look? And toast Fried banana forward to trying that. Epic breakfast. Place is called Delicious and it's just on the main road. As you drive around the island, there's only one road that goes around the island. On the water side. Um, yeah. Good big breakfast. And the wind has eased off a little bit so I'm gonna get my drone out and film a bit around my hotel villa thing and then we're gonna go exploring and find some other cool places I can fly the drone around. Uh, because this place is amazing and drones are a lot of fun. And then at 2 o'clock I'm booked in for a dive a bit further around the island, uh, which should be awesome. I did my paddy a couple of years ago, haven't been diving since, so doing a bit of like a refresher course in the lagoon, so not going too deep, but it should still be epic. Now I just wish I brought my GoPro. I wish I had more time. Look how much fun those things look. June buggy things. Epic. So I've just stopped quickly on the way around. Uh, two o'clock, I'm booked in for a dive at the dive center. It's about 15 minutes that way. I've got 15 minutes, so I haven't really got too much time. But I had to stop. And look how amazing this view is. It's just like this epic lagoon. really can't get much better than that, can you? So this is what was going to be the Hilton Hotel. You can see they go all the way back. And they've built a whole bunch back there as well. Um, but unfortunately construction was stopped after they built the shells and it's just sat here like this since. 
So that was amazing. I'm so glad I did it. I was tossing up whether I wanted to commit two hours to go for a dive because I really haven't got much time here. I fly out tomorrow. Um, but yeah, awesome. Out in the lagoon. Um, yeah. Very cool. Saw a scorpion fish, which apparently you've never seen in the lagoon. Our instructor was saying it was the first scorpion fish she's ever seen in the lagoon. That was pretty cool. Um, heaps of puffer fish. I'm a Barbie girl. What the hell is happening? It's all the same thing, but much more than it seems. So I originally wanted to book a Mini Cooper, but it wasn't available yesterday. So they gave me the BMW till this one became available. So I've actually just gone and switched the cars over. Always wanted to drive one. So when we're on holiday, why not? So on my way back from the dive, um, I decided to stop in at the Hilton. See what all the fuss is about. Apparently it's got five star room reviews. Um, apparently the concierge staff are really lovely. Oh wait, there's no one here. So from what I can tell, this is actually used as like a laser force um, course, which is pretty awesome. Actually, you know what would be awesome? Flying the drone through these rooms and stuff. Go on. Down the streets, burst out the sheets in the womb. Street lights heavy running to the tomb, to the moon. All I see is beaks, birds, and some vultures. The eyes on me, but I guess that that's a culture. Married my screen, cross over me, stand free at the altar. I falter with the thought of the end, you in the lens. Me in the screen, defend me, I can't see. Please stop this, what the clock ticks, playing with optics. I lost it, can't pick up the right option. I'm using chopsticks, trying to run faster than any fast Indian master called Hopkins. So before I chop shins and cop splits, I sip the fan in the youth, contain the toxins. Keep me under seven. Literally out of nowhere, the rain came. Like full on rain. Success. So TripAdvisor reckons these gardens one of the top things to do in Rarotonga, driving past. Why not? The city lights illuminate as I walk down the hill at night. The moon and I, you know exactly how you feel in terms of me. I know exactly how I feel in terms of you. Would you believe me if I told you? Wow, oh, check out this tree. It's got these amazing yellow flowers. But all over the floor. That's quite cool. They look like rubber duckies. This place is amazing. It's so weird seeing plants that aren't like our native plant, like plants I've never seen before. Like you just think of plants as like plants. Everyone has plants. They're all kind of the same, so many different flowers. It's crazy. It's very cool. Huh. 
and not even just the plants, like the actual gardens themselves are amazing. I've made that fatal mistake a man makes of just walking. Now I have no idea where I am or which direction to go. I'm pretty sure those roosters were just having sex and I've walked in on them. Whoops. Tell you what though, insect repellent, best investment ever. If you're coming here, you need insect repellent. So many mozzies and things attacking me. I'm wearing a whole lot and I'm still getting done. Anyway, I'm starting to carry my bearing again. Like, I can hear the ocean that way. I know I walked up away from the ocean. So if I keep heading towards the sound of ocean, I'll just find the ocean. I might not be even near the car, but there's only one road that goes the whole way around. It might be hard to find. I can hear the road on the other side of these trees, but there doesn't seem to be a path. I'm sure that, oh, that's this little thing. A little path. And the million dollar question is how far away, oh no, the fence is going to stop me from getting out. How far away is the car? Jackpot. So the rain stopped, so soft top's back down. In terms of being a photographer, having a soft top is a dream. You can just film straight out there. Walking back to the hotel, got dinner, chill in the room and eat it, and then maybe go for a swim or a spa. What the heck does that look? I think I can't not go in that pool. Haven't been in yet. So I think this is me for tonight. Fish bites, beef taco, bit of TV. Right, well I know I was calling it a night, but I've decided I've only got two nights here, so I'm gonna go for a drive. Don't know where I'm going, don't know what I'm gonna look for. I'm just gonna go for a drive, see what I can find. Let's go. I'm not really sure where I'm going still. Um, I found some signs for a lookout. So, I'm gonna go up there and look out. I noticed I've got a band of lights because I've got someone on my hand. Well, that was a massive fail. Couldn't find a lookout. Just a dirt track. Yeah. Walking back to the car. It's called Hospital Hill Lookout. I found the hospital. I came up the hill. Got my sensible walking shoes. But all in all, a bit of a fail, really. Found a band that's playing live music that had no music playing at all. And a lookout that had no facilities to look out. So yeah, not a successful mission.